welcome to the channel. So I thought I would play a game called Cosmo Tier. So this is on the next fest going on from October 3rd, I believe it's... I'm not sure what the end date is. So the 10th, looks like. Oh, 9th or 10th, one of those two. So it goes on for a week. <clears throat> All right. So uh, this is a demo. Um, one of the demos. So, this one is kind of like, um, if you've ever played Assembler, or Assembly, um, this one kind of reminds me of that, just kind of watching the dev play it. So, um, I already turned on the music down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and new game. Let's see. Uh, let's go career, I guess. Design search, okay, yeah, we're definitely going to go career. We don't want to do sandbox or anything. So, combat difficulty is standard, standard, economy, and model L. The model L is highly maneuverable and sports three laser blasters that are effective at destroying enemy subsystems. It lacks any significant defenses. So, I thought you could build your own ships, though. I think you can, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. The Model C is slow and well armed, armored, with two cannons that are inaccurate but can penetrate into enemy ships. Model S is, creates speed and offensive firepower for a defensive shield generator that can block incoming enemy fire. Okay, well let's go with the Model L. I think remaining funds is five thousand. All right. <clears throat> okay, we'll go with that one. Okay, controlling the camera. Uh, okay. And the camera move the mouse cursor to the edge. Okay. Or you can use a well, I'm using the use a WS D key D keys. Uh, to zoom in and out use a scroll wheel. Got it. Flying your ship. To fly your ship, starship, right click anywhere in space, your ship will fly there automatically. Okay. Uh, I'm right clicking, but it's not doing anything. Maybe on the map? I don't know. There we go. Okay, gotta, gotta click on your ship first. Alright. Controlling time. Alright, so you can pause. Okay. That makes sense. Having hailing ships and stations. To hail a ship or station, first click the comms button near the lower left. Okay. And to hail a ship or station, okay. Uh, then click the hail button next to the ship or station you want to call. Or simply click on it if it was if it's within view. Try hailing this nearby station. Let's well, okay. Let's cover it by the box. There, but okay, it's right here. We're gonna hail it, and I guess it's this one here. Okay. Friendly stations provide various services such as a mission list, crew hiring, and resource trading. These services will be explained in more detail later. Not all ships and stations will accept your hailing requests or offer all types of services. Alright. Hmm. 
missions are your primary way of earning credits and fame. Most friendly stations will have a mission board advertising the available missions. If you haven't already hailed a nearby friendly station to view its mission board. Let's see this one. Yeah. Most missions have a danger level such as one that indicates approximately how challenging it will be. You will want to upgrade your ship before tackling higher level missions. Okay. To accept a mission, select it from the list on the upper left and then X, click on the accept button. We recommend you accept the first level one fugitive bounty mission. Stay away from higher level missions until you have upgraded your ship. All right. So we can do this one here, I guess. A fugitive Marigold class vessel is wanted for illegal activities within the Plenangus system. Authorities from the Fringe system resistance have posted a bounty of 2500 to be paid in any to any cosmeteer that can eliminate, eliminate it. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and accept. I mean, looks like we can probably accept multiple uh, missions here. Okay. Your missions will be automatically tracked near the top left of your screen. Many missions will also show location where you will you'll need to fly in order to complete its objectives. You may need to zoom out to see it. Click on an objective to center the camera on its location. You can view all of your current missions by clicking the on the career log button near the top left of the screen. Okay, it's over here. All right, let's see, how far can we zoom out? Oh, wow, okay. So, let's see, we're right there. There's unknown signals. So where's our mission at? Oh, it's right here? Okay. We're moving toward it. It's a little different than um, assembly, but... Um, We'll see as it goes along. Looks like I'm discovering like resources in the area that I can possibly mine or something. Pause. Okay. Oh, must be I found it. All right. Attacking the enemy. Okay, enemy ships that are close enough to detect on radar but too far to see directly will be shown as pulsing radar blips. To attack an enemy starship, right click on it or on its radar blip. Your ship will fly to it and attack. The game may have automatic pause to show you this tutorial. Press space to unpause. Okay. Uh, some sh enemy ships will be too powerful for you to defeat. Flee and upgrade your ship before attacking them. All right. We're gonna unpause. We're gonna click on this guy. Right click on it. I'm not sure how the combat's gonna be. Looks like it's pretty much you just click on it and you don't really actually do any um, any fighting yourself you just it kind of does it for you after attacking an enemy right click again on a particular part of the enemy to shift oh to target okay I should have read that before for the enemy to 
to target your weapons on it. Okay, so you can target certain parts of it. Destroy the enemy starship's reactor or, or command room to turn it into a lifeless husk. Okay. Destroyed ships will drop valuable materials which you can use to repair and upgrade your own ship. Any remaining pieces of, of destroyed ships can be salvaged for additional materials. To collect and salvage those materials, click on click the Gather Salvage Mine button near the bottom left and then drag the box around everything you want to collect and salvage. Okay. Your ship's crew will automatically collect the materials and store them in your ship. In an emergency, press recall crew if but button to cancel all crew member orders and summon everyone back to your ship. Okay. So, let's see. Um, yeah. And they're all gathering. That's cool. I don't know how many I got to gather, but I did sustain some, some sustain some damage to that on that mission or that fight also. Um, my laser. Okay. There's some some guys in red. And their health bars. Let's move a little closer here. Unknown contact. Okay, after completing all of the mission's objectives, you will usually have to return to the original station to get paid. Once you have arrived back at the station, hail it again. You should see then see a list of any completed missions you can get paid for. To get paid, click on the mission and then click the receive payment button. Okay. Um, what is that stuff? Is that, I'm saying, is that my crew or no? This looks like just junk steel. Oh, so still I can collect them. set to, to do that. Maybe I'm full. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Reactor. Alright, stores four stacks. So yeah, I might be full. And I got some damage over here. So let me see. Okay, repairing ship. When your ship needs repairs, a red repair button in the lower left will appear. Click it to open repair or build repair mode. To repair a single part that is damaged or destroyed, left click on it. Or to repair the whole ship, click the repair all button in the bottom right. Alright, repairing uses materials. If you don't have enough 
that you might not be able to repair everything until you gather more or buy more. When you're done repairing, click on the red axe button or escape. Press escape to exit the rip. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and repair. Um, what is repair all? Enough of this, whatever this is. Oh, insufficient coils. Okay. Well, I guess repair whatever it wants. It's all you repair. could so maybe I got less stuff in my inventory now maybe I can get more stuff maybe no, I guess not okay well I thought maybe I could res uh, gather some more resources and keep repairing but it doesn't look that way okay um, let's go back to our mission area where we got the mission and then get our payment. a while. I wonder if we can upgrade our, our engines. I'm sure we can. So it doesn't take so long to get from place to place. coils um, I wonder if we have to let's see let's hail it again this is a mission board trade so you can buy coils here um, so one of them is a hundred credits Ooh. 20 of them is 2,000. So yeah, they're kind of costly, aren't they? They got hyper coils, too. All right. Um, how do you get them otherwise, I wonder? Well, let's get some... We do have some to sell too, so we got some things to sell. Uh, we got two. Oh, it's hypercoil. Okay, so maybe it was a hypercoil I needed. Oh, now it's showing. Total cost is 18 hypercoils. Okay. Uh, repair all. Yeah, I'll do repair all that time. Hmm. I don't know. All right. So. Heavy laser blaster. Hmm. All right. 
Let's see. Projectile weapons. So we got railgun. These are not available in the demo, obviously, but well, railgun loader module. We got railgun accelerator module. Uh, railgun launcher module. And we've got flak battery. So those are not available. Then we got cannon. We got large cannon and a launcher. So it's showing so miss all missing blueprints. So we don't have we can't actually get those. So it looks like we have to get the blueprints in order to get them. Production? Oh. So we can make we can build stuff. EMP missile factory. Harper coil. Ah, oh, here we go. Hi Piper coil factory. So you can get fact. You can make factories to get this stuff. That's cool. Um, of course, they're not available in the demo, but. Okay, ammo, missing blueprints. And then HE, missile, steel, and coils. Alright, so we can't get anything, looks like. Storage. Uh, utilities. We got a mining laser. Ah. Well, we can. It's available in the demo, but we can't get one right now. Um, we, don't have the, we don't have the blueprint. So I wonder how you get blueprints. So we got lasers and heavy lasers. We got point defense, disruptor, ion beam, ion prism, and mining laser. And then we've got for defensive stuff uh, our large shield generator, flak battery. Uh, that must shoot down uh, incoming missiles and stuff, probably. Uh, point defense we got fire extinguishers, armor. Armor two times one, and then we got wedge, triangle, and that kind of stuff. We got small shield. We don't have a blueprint for that. So we got all oh, this is for flight. So we got cockpit, control room, bridge. So these two are not available in the demo, so we probably can't make our own ships. We just have to stick with the ones we have. Uh, thrusters, two-way small thruster, three-way small thruster, and a standard thruster. And of course, you got huge thruster and boost thruster, not available. Engine room. Oh, hyperdrive and large thruster. So we can get large thrusters available in the demo if we had the blueprint. Crew, power. Okay, we've got different reactors. Production, storage, and we got um, utilities. We got lots of those. So, pretty neat. Um, different structures you can put, different structures on the thing. We can kind of middle, make our own ships. Um, so, looks like we can maybe um, buy these things. Because this has two of them. For, it costs 50 credits. That's what it says here. Upgrade your ship. Click the build button in the lower left. You can't upgrade your ship while under fire from enemy ships. To add a part to your ship, select it in the box below, then left click on your ship where you want to add it. To rotate a part before adding it, press the rotation buttons or right click. Like repairing, construction uses materials. If you don't have enough, then the additional materials will be automatically purchased from the nearby station if you have the credits and the station has the materials in stock. Okay, that's cool. So where is the build ship button? Over here. Okay. Or well, it was already in that mode. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, that's repair, build and repair. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So. Okay, blueprint mode. To pick a part and move it somewhere else, use the grab tool. Okay. To remove a part from your ship, use the delete tool. You receive a full refund. And then if you make a mistake, just click the undo. 
right? Um, I wonder if we will be able to get um, if this will allow, um, this will support the Steam Workshop. And that might be where these kind of these blueprints might come in play. I have a feeling. So, uh, okay, structure. It looks like this part here is nearest power. Almost looks like it's not repaired all the way, but maybe. Nearest power. Okay. All right. Well, um, so do I have a mining laser right now? I don't know if I do or not. It's a laser, laser, laser. Small thrusters. That's a cockpit. This is my reactor. Okay, my two way thrusters. Okay, I see. So, okay. Cruise bunk, crew quarters, fire extinguisher. Airlock hatch, huh? Interesting. And then storage bays. Okay, so let's see if I can. I, th I think my storage area is full, but I'm not sure. Trade. So I got five hyperinium or hype. Hyperium, I guess, I hate to pronounce that. I got 30 or 14 steel. I got, do have some hyper, hyper coils. Processor, enriched in uranium. I could probably sell that for 1,000. Wow. Okay. That's all I have? So, I don't know if I want to get rid of my steel. This hyperinium, I don't know what this is for. Okay, so I sold that. There's ammo. So HE is high explosive, okay. So, uh, let me see. Oh, purchase blueprints. Here we go. So, heavy laser blaster. Can't get that in the demo. Um, disruptor ion beam. Ah, here we go. Mining laser. It's 3,000. It's going to be about half what we have. But I'm curious as to what kind of things we can mine. So I would like to purchase this. All right. Now, how do I utilize it? Trade. Oh, that's just the... Okay. Go into this mode here again, and it's going to be an energy type thing. Let's see if I can get it here. Mining laser, okay. So it's going to take oh six thousand. Well, it would if I had the actual steel and the coils, it wouldn't take all that much money. But it's going to purchase the rest of what I need because it doesn't have it, and that's why it requires six thousand credits. 
so I can't get that right now. Um, maybe I can do some more missions. So give me twenty five hundred. Let's take on a couple missions here. That's only two thousand, but so what is this? Fringe resistance, reputation, and fame. It's a level two. I don't want to do too many of them because I don't want to get mixed up. As far as being able to find my mission, so it looks like it's pretty easy though, because you just right click on it or click on it, it shows it to you on the map. You just right click, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. I guess I could have taken on that one that was paid three thousand credits, but we'll come back and see if we can get it available. You need like a hyperspace. Let's expand. Let's make time go by faster here, though. All right, and here's the enemy. Pause. Standard cannon. We can try taking out his. Let's see, what was it? Um, storage bay, hyperdrive, his core. Let's attack his core. Ooh. He took some casualties. He took out part of our ship. <laughs> so, yeah. Salvage what we can here. Um, I'm liking this so far. Well, what's this guy doing? He's getting really slower. He's a really tiny dude. Some of their, like, grinding stuff down, and <laughs> well, this must be all the stuff they're gathering. Nice. They must not gather the steel.
So, okay, basic metal alloy used to construct almost all ship parts. But it doesn't look like I can gather that. Yeah, storage full, okay. Alright, let's see. Let's head back to the station. Oh boy. What do we got here? An unknown contact. This is not part of my mission, I don't think, but... Maybe I shouldn't try taking them on, because I don't have anything repaired yet. I'm missing a laser. Because I got blown off on that one guy. So I might not be might not be a good idea to attack this guy. See I'm I'm mostly I can probably mine this stuff, yeah. Because it's going by AU, I think it's iron or something like that. Alright, well, we're just going to keep on. I don't think I can catch him anyway. We're just going to go ahead and dock here. Or not dock, but it's true. To view the inside of your, crew, your ship, click the air interior toggle button. Crew operate your ship by manning weapons, piloting, and carrying supplies. The more crew a ship has, the more effectively it can function. A part that doesn't have any crew operating in it will have a red crew icon. Okay, I've seen that before. When building, pay attention to how far a room is from the crew, power, or munitions it needs. Farther distances mean power and munitions will be delivered more slowly. The green path lines will turn yellow and red if farther than recommended. All right. Okay, we can uh, get paid for a mission here. And let's see if we can repair any further. All right, good. And we were able to um get that mess with that laser back. I'm thinking that it might have actually uh, because I, I probably didn't have the materials to repair it because I noticed that my my money is down again. So I bet you that it probably took some money from me to do the repairs and probably purchase what it needed to get the ship back to where it you know, originally was. Okay, where is the other mission at? Let's see, we gotta go for that one. Alright. Becoming famous. Your current, your current frame, it, fame is displayed in the top right corner underneath your credits. Oh boy. Oh boy, three of them. I'm going to pause here. Finish reading this. As you defeat enemies and complete missions, your fame will increase. It will never decrease. As And as your fame increases, more people will want you want, want to join your crew. More crew is always better. As you become more famous, you will soon stop earning fame from lower level ships and missions. Defeat and complete higher level ships and missions to to keep raise or increasing your fame. Okay. All right. So 
Oops, I wonder if these are all part of my mission or if these are just unknown contacts in the area. ship cannot be controlled because it either has no operational command rooms or as command rooms don't provide enough command points for all of the ship's weapons thrusters and other systems yeah well look at my ship I'm sure I probably lost some valuable things um, how do I flee I never mentioned about fleeing before fighters can break out when hit by certain weapons and when volatile parts explode. Left unattended fires will quickly spread causing damage and killing crew. Add fire extinguishers to your ship to help fight fires. Your crew will pick up the fire extinguishers and use them to put out fires. Okay. I know I had one right, was it right? No, right now right there. I had one somewhere. It looks like it may be blown off. Okay, I need to get out of here. Um, if I can. Maybe just hmm. I'm kind of like a sitting duck here. Yep, <laughs> just got blown apart completely. So yeah, he um, was a little bit too much, apparently. And I got all my stuff here I dropped. So I wonder what happens if it lets you, uh, if it's just like game over or you still gotta destroy this last piece looks like, that's kind of crazy. I can't repair. I mean, obviously I can't now because I've got nothing. All hands lost. Okay, so load, save, our new game. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, it looks like that's going to be it for this game. Um, this was a first look at Cosmoteer. Um, I do like the game. I think it's pretty fun. Um, obviously, I need to get more practice on it, but... Uh, <laughs> I need a, I guess I probably shouldn't have, and that was a level one mission, so I shouldn't have been um, that bad off, but and I do, I did go in with full repair, so I shouldn't have had such a you know, bad time with that, but anyway, I guess it happens. So, uh, 
Hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.